at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog. Ah, you're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some line drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us! You can't escape it! You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men. Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours! Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. I see you're a man who'd rather die on his feet than live on his knees. I'd rather the Krauts did the dying. Excellent. There is a German fuel depot down the street. 5,000 barrels of precious petrol, guarded by a handful of half-drunk supply clerks. Sounds like one hell of a fire hazard. My thoughts exactly. We'll need something to get the fireworks started. I know a place where we can get what we need. But first, I must know. Are you prepared to kill if necessary? The way I see it, these Nazi bastards bought their own tickets to hell. I'm just laying out the welcome mat. That's my car there. I'll drive. Let's get moving. Where are we headed? I spotted a German supply cache nearby. I am sure they won't mind if we borrow a few things, eh? Have you ever handled explosives before? I handled a bombshell once. Turned out she was married. This is serious! All right, keep your knickers on. I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you would. Man, look at these fucking Nazis everywhere, infesting my beautiful city like cockroaches. They certainly made themselves at home. It's time we showed them a different kind of hospitality. Supply caches down that alley. Let's go. Look at those spineless jackals. I can't stand it anymore. Whoa. Steady, mate. Let's just get what we came for. Espèce d'enfoiré du merde! Christ, here we go. The Nyan had a severe. What the fuck was all that about? Uh, not now. Let's go. The crates are up there, but we need to be careful. This supply cache is a restricted area. Oh, why? Was that you being careful back in the alley? I lost my temper. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. I didn't leave a nice warm bar just to get my head blown off. If we are spotted near the crate, the Germans will attempt to sound the alarm. Then we'll have to get rid of that lookout first. Yes, you should be able to find hand and footholds on the surface of that building. 
climb up there and throw that Nazi piece of shit from the roof while I move in on the ground. Can you do that? It's a piece of piss. I do not know this phrase. It means yes. To fight they want. They're fucking get one. Oh. Help me, Irishman. We cannot allow them to sound the alarm. See what kind of party favors these crowds brought for us. Break open those crates. Those explosives will do nicely. Just remember to save at least one charge for the fuel depot. Let's get back to the car. Irishman. I'm anxious to get the real show started. Ah, most men would have lost their nerve by now. Tell me, my friend, what were you doing in Ireland before you came to my country? I was a mechanic. Not that it's any of your business. A mechanic, eh? <laughs> well, the resistance could use a good mechanic. I didn't know there was a resistance in Paris. That's about to change. After tonight, the Nazis will have a new enemy to fear. The depot is just up ahead. We'll need to create a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound of gunshots or an explosion. Use that to your advantage. Ten pounds of high explosive on that truck should get their attention. Aye, that'll do. Start by climbing that building. Once you're on the roof, keep your head down and wait until the truck explodes. Then, use that telephone wire to cross the street into the fuel depot. While the soldiers are distracted, move in quickly and place a charge on the primary storage tank. I'll meet you by the gate when it's done. Watch your ass, Irishman. What do you think he's doing up there? You. Time to leg it. Le commandant Dirker rappelle aux citoyens d'économiser le fuel domestique. Une maison froide sauve des vies allemandes.
did it! Tonight we changed the course of history, my friend. <laughs> well, all we did is blow up a petrol station. Though I must admit it, that fireball did make a pretty picture. <laughs> you are wrong, Irishman. Something has changed. It is in the air. Can you not feel it? Well, now that you mention it, it is just the beginning. We will push back the darkness, free the city from fear, house by house, and street by street. Get some rest, my friend. We will have much to do in the days ahead. Oh, why? If by that you mean a sweet brunette and a glass of whiskey. Enjoy your reward, Irishman. You earned it. I owe you a drink. This ain't a hidey hole. This is heaven. What's got into you, mate? What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look like? The Aurora is my girl now, Sean. I will not have another man picking up her skirt. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jules. You're a driver now. You want respect on the circuit? You gotta stop thinking like a mechanic. All right, I'm put on airs like some posh wanker with a silver spoon up me arse. No thanks, brother. Veronique! Morning, beautiful. I'm coming along for the race. Vittore asked me to take pictures. Couldn't he wait till I'd made myself a little more decent? I don't believe in miracles. Oh, my sister got all the charm. And the brains. That's enough screwing around. We've got a race to win. You boys have work to do. Both of you. Say the word, boss. Let's get our girl on the trailer. I want to be across the border by sundown. Ready to move out? The truck is loaded and ready to roll. And the Aurora? Trust up tighter than a nun's arse. Good. Veronique and I will ride ahead. You boys take the truck and head east to the German border. From there, it's a straight shot to Saarbrücken. I've marked the location on your map. Come on, Sean, get in. Yeah, yeah. This is it, my friend. After tomorrow, you'll be a famous driver, and I will be right there beside you, reaping the rewards of your success. Which rewards did you have in mind? The women! These German girls are crazy for racers. We'll have a dozen blonde beauties feeling us grapes, huh? <laughs> Assuming you don't fuck it up, of course. <laughs> well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jews. But there's more riding on this race than you getting your hole knocked off. Vittori took a big gamble making me his wheelman. You're not gonna let him down, Sean. I hope not. Vittori's got bigger problems to worry about these days. Like what? Like the fact that a war could break out any minute, huh? Don't you read the papers? Just the sports section. These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job.
There's the brother up ahead. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Right. I should have warned me leader holds him. I'm serious. These assholes are looking for any excuse to start shooting. Zeigen Sie mir Ihre Reispapiere. Vielen Dank. Sie dürfen passieren. Pleasure doing business with you. Not much farther now. I can smell the petrol fumes from here. You just keep your eyes on the track and the pedal to the floor, my friend. You let me worry about the race. <laughs> Are you volunteering to be my manager? What's so funny? I didn't have to be a mechanic, you know. I could have done anything. The teacher used to say to me, Jules, all of these kids are stupid, especially your cousin Javier. But not you, Jules. You are too clever for your own good. I thought Veronique had the brains in the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's around. Hey, it's not just you. Veronique is tough on men in general. Why's that? One of these days I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Veronique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea. Cousin Javier, where's the boss? Peter is waiting for you at the bar down the street. Leave the truck with us. I'll meet you at the bar. First round's on me. I'm glad you finally decided to join us. We took the scenic route. You run into any trouble? Just the usual groupies, looking for autographs. A toast to Team Morini and Our Lady Aurora. To Signor Morini for taking a big chance on a dodgy bloke like me. Another round for me mates. Easy, Sean. You'll need a clear head tomorrow. Dirker flew in this morning from Berlin. Kurt Dirker? I thought he was retired. Speak of the devil. Guten Abend, Herr Morini. Always a pleasure to welcome one of our Italian friends to the Fatherland. I was just speaking of my admiration for General Mussolini. A kindred spirit to our own Führer. Your country is fortunate to have such a leader, yeah? Racing is my passion. I find little time for politics. Sometimes racing is politics. No. There is a difference. You must forgive my ignorance, Herr Morini. We Germans are a simple people. Perhaps you would enlighten us further? One's a hobby for rich assholes who can't get laid without a flashy car and a silly uniform. The other is racing. This must be that British mechanic who thinks he's a driver. I'm fucking Irish. It's getting late. Why don't we call it a night? The night is young, Fräulein. Stay. Dine with me. I've no taste for German cuisine. Not yet, perhaps. But soon, the women of your country will learn to savor the taste of a purebred German bratwurst. Bastard! Oh. Get my crazy sister out of here before she gets herself killed! Oh, Enough! I'm taking her upstairs! Oh. Alright, who's first? Oh. Oh. Stay the fuck down! 
I don't think he can hear you. You fucking knob jockey. Pour some iron, little man. Hast du der Frau hier recht? Die gehört bei mir. Down. The barman's talking to the police. I'll take care of Veronique. You boy, get out of here. Jules, time to get scarce. Right behind you. It, you bloody fuck me, Skyler. Mm, are you chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Mailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car. Hold on to your arses. Just like old times, eh, Skyler? Never a dull moment. How long have you been in town? Mm, just got in, actually. I see you wasted no time running afoul of the local police. Oh, those fellas behind us, they're just having a laugh. Is this desperado routine meant to be a turn on? I don't know. Is it working? Will you watch the fucking road, please? The radio ahead is set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. They teach you that in your posh English school. Oh. Benefits of a higher education. All English girls as crazy as you are. Give us a bit of fun. Well, that was fun. Anyone fancy a nightcap? <sighs> Brilliant. I'm parched. Fuck this. I'm not going to be the third wheel. Take me back to the hotel. to bed. Keep the noise down, eh? I need some fucking rest. Come on up. I'll sneak you in the back door. Wouldn't have it any other way. <sighs> Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken the blood. Except perhaps a single malt McGarren, aged 30 years. Must be Christmas. Lucky for Jews and me, you came sliding down the chimney when you did. Christmas, is it? Oh, I'm afraid I've been a bad girl. Aye, I'm certain of it. Whatever happened after that weekend in Monaco? You never rang me up. You never gave me your number? Oh, that's hardly an excuse. You're not still pining for Jules's little sister, are you? She's a bit of a bore, don't you think? I don't think I'm her type. So, you in town for the race? What can I say? I have a weakness for men in fast cars. I've been all over Europe following the circuit. Mum and Dad are mortified, of course. Beats working for a living. I wouldn't know. What's this for? Shaving your legs? A girl should always carry protection. One day you'll have to tell me how you came by these scars. We've done enough talking for one night. Where's the Duchess of York? <sighs> Don't know. She was gone when I woke up. To be honest, I feel a bit used. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. Come on, let's get to the track. 